Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. In this session, we are going to discuss about a useful tool which is available in the Tosca commander through which you can perform a set of actions on a buffer. Now this tool is known as buffer viewer and this is present inside the tools section. So here you will see the buffer viewer tool and we have already seen how we can create different uh, buffers either you can use the tbox set buffer module or you can also use uh, the action mode buffer to buffer a particular value uh, which is like a temporary variable right so uh, if i open this buffer viewer you will see a separate window opens and this basically provides me with all the different buffer names and values which I have created any time in my workspace. And the interesting part about this particular tool is that you can not only view the buffers which have been created, you can also change uh, or modify the buffers. Okay, so you can buffer, uh, modify the buffer name or buffer value. You can also search with a particular buffer. Okay, so if I um, search with something like X, you will see it will uh, search all the buffers which have this particular word or this particular character okay okay so uh, let's look uh, with an actual example let's create a buffer and then let's see how we can do some changes on that particular buffer using this buffer viewer okay so um, i have created a test case here it is using the tbox set buffer module and as you can see i'm setting a buffer called temp i'm giving it a value 10 okay so very simple test and i'm going to run this now so that should be done in a few seconds uh, and the buffer with name temp has been set to value 10 okay and now um, if i come here in the buffer viewer and i go and search that particular buffer called temp okay you will see uh, i can find this particular buffer here right now uh, what all i can do on this particular buffer or any other buffer for that matter right so uh, I can go ahead and I can actually change the name of this buffer I can even change the value of this buffer okay and then that will be saved uh, whatever changes I have done it will be implemented uh, immediately okay so now that buffer name was changed to 10.23 and the value was changed to 20 now I can even create a new buffer Okay, so I can go to the next line and then there is the edit option. So I can say temp. Okay, and then again, I can put a value called 10. Okay, so I can add as many buffers as I want. I can modify the existing buffers. Okay, and I can even delete the buffers. Okay, so for example, if I now select these two buffers or some other existing buffer, okay so press on control uh, and then select multiple buffers here and then just press delete from your keyboard okay and you will see that those buffers have been deleted so these are all the operations you can perform on the buffer viewer tool you can search for a particular buffer you can add new buffers you can uh, modify the existing buffers okay um, and you can also uh, delete or remove the existing buffers okay so it's an useful tool uh, if you are working on buffers and uh, there are lots of buffers which have been used in your particular project or workspace you can look at all those buffers uh, in the buffer viewer that's all for this particular video if you have any questions then please leave it in the comments if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.